COVID-19 has helped expand access to the financial system for millions of Colombian families. During the pandemic, the government expanded cash transfer programs, such as the Ingreso Solidario, or Solidarity Income Program, to help families. According to Aso Bancaria, a Colombian banking association, almost 1.5 million families opened up new accounts in the last four months, thanks to aid programs. Colombia is a country Colombia, historically, for structural reasons, has had wide inequality gaps, and in an attempt to close these, the central government has really pushed banking by offering various financial products. One Colombian expert says Colombia has been changing regulations to simplify the path to financial inclusion for years. Among the changes are policies that make it easy to open up bank accounts something that is crucial during the pandemic. Experts in Colombia and other Latin American countries like Mexico are also reporting growth in online banking tools as a response to lockdown measures. Between the first month of strict quarantine in March and mid-July, the online banking tools such as mobile apps and web are growing in transactions by 150% to up to 190%. In approximately 190%. While the pandemic has helped the banking sector, there are still gaps that need to be filled. Government statistics show young people under the age of 30 are the most excluded population from Colombia's financial system. Youth here, unfortunately, still have an idea that the financial and banking system are to be feared because of credit, because of debts, and not wanting to be tied down. So that is a gap that needs to be closed with financial education. Avila says the positive developments cannot replace the benefits of education to achieve lasting progress in the financial system here. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogota, Colombia.